Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, we are going to talk uh, to one of our uh, clients and this is Anima Protocol. And today here we have Mood, uh, Chief Marketing Officer at Anima Protocol. So uh, like you mentioned, I'm Mood, I'm working at Anima Protocol. And uh, so Anima is working on decentralized identity and proof of personhood technology. I'm Natalie, I'm a Chief Marketing Officer as well, but at GetLog. We are a RPC node infrastructure provider. I think today we're peeling back uh, the curtain on one of the web Web3's uh, most pressing mysteries. How do you create trust in a trustless system? You know, with uh, billions of dollars uh, in value flowing into decentralized networks, uh, the threat of civil attacks is growing. One protocol is turning the tables here. They're doing it with a, like a secret weapon. Let's start with you, with Anima Protocol. Anima Protocol has been gaining traction in web free security. For those who are new uh, to Anima, uh, can you tell me please what's uh, the core mission of your project? We think that by proving that each user is unique while preserving privacy and pseudonymity, we can create the foundation for something new and also create new use cases in crypto. We know that when you know someone one is truly unique, you can start building a reputation system. Over time, this allows users to showcase their genuine contribution and also establish trust and a track record. It uh, definitely looks aligned with the proof of not being an I concept, uh, which is almost like one of the key trends of 2024 in crypto and uh, beyond. And, uh, you know, also Vitalik Buterin recently mentioned that uh, something something similar as a core element of uh, info finance, uh, you know, a knowledge ecosystem of the future. Anima will be um, like, you know, extremely useful for uh, decide the decentralized science as a whole. You told me about the approach of Anima, so can you tell me please, uh, like what does it mean uh, for crypto in practice? Yeah, so you can think about several use cases. Uh, if you go to governance, um, instead of voting power being tied to solely capital, it could be linked to the number of voters for a proposal. Like you can think about one user, one vote system or quadratic voting, for instance. Then if you go to DeFi, uniqueness also opens door for reputation-based loans. So you could borrow funds, even if you don't have substantial asset to lock up. Um, in GenFi also, uh, uh, anti-civil uh, model could ensure that rewards go to real player instead of uh, votes um, trying to exploit the system. So this kind of system can emerge when you when the trust is based on uniqueness rather than resources. Uh, also, that would be very impressive once integrated into uh, decentralized media protocols or something like that. In Gadlock, we register uh, a spike of interest uh, in uh, in these solutions. I foresee plenty of like extremely eccentric use cases for Anima. Let's talk a little bit about that civil resistance and uh, or why do you think the civil uh, resistance is so critical in Web3? It's true that the term is almost uh, mythical. Uh, we kind of did it on purpose. The idea was to highlight um, um, that for us, the concept is really important and we think it has a lot of potential for crypto in general. Also, the idea of proving that a user is unique can be controversial. Identity in general, in web it's kind of controversial topic. We are just focusing on uh, proving uniqueness. We're not doxing the user. Um, and we think that it can beneficiate both um, user and project, like on the user side, um, with, um, with anti-civil, you can have a system where reward goes only to genuine contribution and whether it's in DeFi, GameFi, governance, uh, user gain proportional power based on their involvement regardless of their economical power. For project, on the other hand, it's also a game changer because, you know, Web3 is sometimes driven by vanity metrics. There's always huge user accounts and then don't always reflect genuine engagement. And also the cost of acquiring user has skyrocketed and without uh, civil resistance, it's hard to know if those users are even real. Yeah, with our system, they can focus on rewarded genuine contribution, real active user um, and create long term engagement and relationship. And they all can also develop new use cases like we talked before. And that's a, a little bit why we, we use the civil resistance term. Can you also break down for us uh, what makes Anima so unique at the project? 
So the way we, we uh, verify uniqueness is by uh, using a technology we call proof of personhood. Um, it's designed to be very simple, it's privacy preserving. So basically it starts with a liveness check. So as a user, you go in front of your camera to prove that you're physically present, that you're not an image or a deep fake. It can be done through your desktop or your mobile. Um, then from that, we generate what we call a face graph. So it's a unique non-biometric proxy created from your biometric data during the liveness. Uh, but what's important is that we don't store the raw biometric data. The face graph is encrypted and it cannot be reverted back to biometric info. Once the step is completed, you get to mint what we call a reputation NFT. It's a non-transferable token. It's tied to your wallet and it's the proof of your uniqueness. And what's great is that since the information is on chain, any protocol who wants to identify or reward unique user can. It's a bit different from what exists, not because of what we do, but because of how we do it. We use liveness and biometric check to in ensure the trustworthiness of the information, but also we do not rely on any external hardware or technology that is not accessible to anyone. You basically only need a device with a camera, which is someone that almost everyone has today. And therefore, we think that our solution can really be used as the foundation for a layer of identity and reputation in crypto. This sounds very secure, very secure. <laughs> I like it so much. Anima Protocol has chosen GetLock as its uh, infrastructure provider. And uh, how does, uh, what do you think, how does GetLock support the uh, Anima's vision? Can you give us the uh, exact example of how uh, GetLock has been instrumental for um, Anima's operations? We use GetBlock for many things actually, so it's very key for the development of Anima Protocol. The first reason we choose GetBlock, uh, it's because the tech is chain agnostic and as we mentioned minting a reputation NFT is essential in our concepts so we use GetBlock for all the blockchain related uh, automation transactions like to mint the reputation NFT and prove that you are human and music unique you need to pay one dollar fee and GetBlock enables the process uh, by both handling the payment detection but also the minting of the NFT itself Anima also has a DAP where user can come and build their reputation through quests. Some of the quests require validation of on-chain data, such as, for instance, transaction or participation in on-chain activities. And for this, we also rely on GetBlock archive call feature. This enables us to validate the quest uh, accurately and efficiently. Also, the fact that um, uh, the price was also in the balance, but also low uh, RPC error and rejection rates uh, that significantly boosted the protocol reactivity. What's most important also is the customer support. Um, GetBlock always provided quick and effective responses, even when we started with a basic plan. So that was key for us, actually. You uh, got it right. Our basic plans are equipped with uh, many functionalities that our competitors can offer only on their like premium packages. And as you see, we are here for you like at any at any moment of your project development. Let's talk a little bit about the future. Can you tell me, please, uh, what's next for uh, Anima? protocol like uh, how do you plan to uh, scale your solutions in the coming years yeah, so right now uh, on the anima app user can only mint their reputation and ft to prove they are human and unique um, but then in january next year we are going to launch a new section on the DAP. it's going to be called explore on explore user will have access to quests and these quests are only accessible to holders of their reputation NFT. So like on every quest platform, user will earn points for validating quests. But the exciting part is that those points can be exchanged for tokens through weekly auctions. And because only unique users have access to this system, we created a fair and transparent way to reward genuine participation. Looking further ahead, we really think that proof of personhood technology the one we design can be the foundation for a scalable and universal identity and reputation system in, in Web3. Your accomplishments in building like the uh, identity frameworks and new designs for human interactions in Web3 is you know, really exciting. That's exactly how GetBlock helps the crypto teams uh, with driving, you know, uh, we're bringing new designs, uh, high traffic, we're trying to find uh, mutual benefits for the projects we're working on uh, credibility. Just like in uh, Sid Meier civilizations, we are building the roads, you're building the towns and we're building the roads and trying uh, uh, to connect them, keeping transfer routes uh, safe and operable. And uh, also, not only you are free from uh, heavy lifting, like you can always uh, customize the way you connect to the uh, settlements between each other uh, in very like 
and and handle the traffic. Also in GetBlock, we have uh, big plans for 2025 as well. We uh, are going to implement ready-made uh, data APIs. Uh, we are going to work on new add-ons, uh, new blockchains, and many other things. Just let's build something great together, I guess. Yeah, a lot of work uh, is going on and is going to come in 2025. We're actually also very happy with this partnership. And um, I don't know if it's something we can share now, but we have kind of a, an access code to the platform, to the explore section of our platform, only for the GetBlock users. Um, so with this code, uh, GetBlock user can access uh, the explore section and do quests uh, with Anima protocol. The code would be GetBlock uh, X uh, uh, Anima 25. From our side, we would like to provide a promo code as well for all of our listeners and uh, Anima community. It's going to be, I think, Get Anima 5. So we are going to provide uh, for each user who's coming uh, to us with this promo code uh, our basic uh, package, uh, it's, which is going to have uh, 5 million RPC requests and you can use them and can send them to any of 50 plus blockchains that we are supporting and you can use them during uh, one month and just uh, test the service, understand you like it or not and proceed to working with us. We hope. It was very nice to have this opportunity to discuss with you.